Yeah, man, so me and my trainer, we at the Gold's Gym about to do a nice hit session. And uh, yeah, so let's see what we made of. All right. Good evening. Wow, today is a beautiful day and I just had the best leg workout. I love it when you get those days. Excuse me while I'm driving. But I love it when you get those days when the energy is very high and I choose legs to do that day. It's like, wow, I chose the best day. Energy was high. Um, this week, my trainer, he wanted me to do a little bit more carbs. I'm trying to put on some mass just a little bit of fullness get more fuller um so yeah so right now I'm stuffed I'm, I'm like I've been doing rice and the rice just I think it bloats me a little bit so I had to ease off the rice and um so today I had sweet potato and banana before working out with a teaspoon no a tablespoon of peanut butter so yeah, that carried me through up until the end. So I always bring like a backup to the gym. So I bought a backup sweet potato so I can make it through my hit. So I did hit on the um, Jacob's Ladder. I think I posted a video about Jacob's Ladder before. So very intense. My legs are swole. And yesterday we did um, suicides, running suicides. Wow, so my legs are really sore, so I'm going to get them a break tomorrow and uh, do some buys and tries. So yeah, so we'll link up a little bit more throughout the day. I'm going to see what I'm going to cook for dinner. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Alright, check you later. Bless. Hello, I'm in the kitchen doing some cooking. I'm cooking some cabbage, curry cabbage, along with some stir fry okra for my veggies for the day. So, yeah. Um, so, you can watch me as I prepare maybe something that you would like to do in your own meal plan, or you know what I mean? But curry cabbage is off the chain, yes. So, the first thing that I did. You what I did. I made some, I am uh, sauteing some onions, scallions, peppers, thyme, and garlic in my pan. And, one second. Yes, I'm back. So, yeah, I'm, I'm searing some. Spices and coconut oil, a little bit of coconut oil, and um, now I'm going to add my cabbage. Slowly add my cabbage in and blend that in with my other seasonings. Yeah. I love cabbage. It is so healthy for you. 
Um, one good thing that would help you to cut the gas is ginger. Sometimes I add ginger spices to it. And another thing is if you don't cook it so long. If you don't cook it too long, it won't be as gassy. I don't like my cabbage to be limpy. I like it to be kind of like crispy or kind of crunchy. I don't like to cook it until it's soft and soggy like. Okay? And this I have my okra. I like to cook my okra. This is not fresh okra. It's um, frozen okra, so that's going to take some time to cook. Okay? So the meanwhile, I can put my other seasonings in my cabbage. I add a little garlic, a little garlic salt on there. And um, some sea salt. Salt on there, and um, let's see. And I have some ginger. Uh, add some ginger on there. That way, it doesn't make me gassy. Cut some of that gas, or you can cut up fresh ginger. Fresh ginger is good too. Um, I don't think I have any fresh ginger at this time. And then I'm going to add my curry seasoning. Okay, I'm using curry powder with turmeric and mustard. Um, most of the times I use Jamaican curry, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just using what I have. Mmm, that smells so good, you guys. And another thing you can do with this dish is you can add some sliced tomatoes as well. Normally I do that. Add some sliced tomatoes and a little bit of pepper. Um, a little bit of scotch bonnet if you like it spicy. Yeah, but unfortunately my mom is having some of this and she doesn't like it spicy, so I'm going to leave it just like this and just add some spice to my own. See how nice and colorful that is? It's so pretty. Yeah, so we're going to let that cook just a little bit longer, not a lot. Okay. And then I made some, actually I made some, I baked some tofu, so I'll be having that with my food, and some fresh asparagus, 